Now, first alert weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. We had a gorgeous sunset right outside. We did, yeah, we had a gorgeous sunset. The day was better towards the end, I think, and tomorrow will be decent as well. Still mild and still dry. Notice I'm not promising a ton of sun. <laughs> we'll take a look at the sunset here. This is the, the time lapse over Lake Champlain. We'll pause it at 715 right before sunset. You can see the beautiful orange color there on Lake Champlain, which has lost a lot of the ice in the last two weeks. And now it is just dry and not so bad either. Temperature is 38 with a calm wind. So we're not talking about a wind chill or anything like that right now. At the State House, it's 34, also with no wind, so pretty nice outside right now. Looks like things will be good tomorrow with more clouds than the sun, but it's still mild and dry. I'd say it's a little better than today was. Then Monday, we have a soaking rain. I'd say most of the area gets rain, but in the far northeast kingdom of Vermont, some wet snow is at least possible during the day Monday, and then we turn cooler by the mid and late part of next week. So there's a few thin clouds overhead, but nothing significant. It's a mainly clear sky over us. The nearest rain is just a few rain showers over the Great Lakes right now, and this will become the much bigger system that we have coming in for Monday, which will deliver the soaking rain. So for the rest of the night, it's a mainly clear sky, but I think the clouds will start to thicken up by tomorrow morning, just after sunrise. Especially in northern areas, I think the most sun tomorrow will be in southern Vermont. We'll see that here on Futurecast. This is 7 a.m. with most of the cloud cover across the north, more sun to the south, and it stays that way for most of the day. So it won't be a blue sky the whole time. And eventually it just becomes overcast everywhere because by late tomorrow night into first thing Monday morning, the rain starts to come in and there's plenty of yellow colors here mixed in indicating pockets of moderate to heavy rain. And of course, you also see the pink and blue shades. Most of the wintry part of this system is outside of our region, but it still looks like the potential uh, for Essex County, Vermont to be clipped by a little wet snow, maybe a mix of rain and wet snow or wet snow for a few hours. This is 7 a.m. Monday morning. The trend should be warmer as we go through the day. So even if there was any wet snow in northeastern Vermont, I think it goes over to plain rain and for Tuesday, there's only a few rain showers left over. Definitely Monday is the wettest day of the next seven, I think at least. And it could be a half inch to an inch of rain as we go through Monday. So definitely a soaking rain. And just to illustrate where the winter part of this system is, it's mainly to our east in Maine. Some parts of Maine getting over a half foot of snow, the very edge comes close to the Vermont New Hampshire border. So for the rest of the night, temperatures fall back into the mid 30s in the Champlain Valley, 20s in the colder spots. And for tomorrow, it is a little milder than it was today. 55 in Burlington across northern New York, 53 should do in Lake Placid. Look at this mid 60s in southern Vermont where there should be a little more sun. So there's the rain on Monday with the nuisance icon. So a couple showers lingering on Tuesday, but Wednesday and Thursday look dry for now before some more rain showers on Friday and Saturday of next week. And it does turn cooler with some highs there in the 40s. Renee.